Hey guys, how you doing? So um, today the Lord had me going through every single message that he's given me since December 30th. And I wrote kind of like um, notes by each one of them. And I had a thought. <clears throat> now I don't know if, if this is true because I haven't heard this from him yet. But <laughs> and it's funny because I think Cassie and Jesus Saves were thinking of like the same thing, Faith Over Fear. What if the prodigal son, A Journey from the Stars is this, all the messages that he's been giving me since December 30th. Because if you think about it, every message is about, you know, coming to him um, and him saving you. And then there's signs in the heavens. <laughs> I mean, that would be such a God thing if that was the case. And I don't know if that's the case or not. And he said, it's funny because I laugh because he said, it's in production now. And it will be marketed soon. Well, last night, you know, I kind of talked about, um, what did I talk about last night? I forgot what the video was about. Oh, yeah, my dream. My dream of the 917. Um, and I don't know what all that means. I, I was just counting seven days. I was like, eh, sounds good. If I count the seven days, it was like the 22nd or 23rd, um, depending on where you are. But... I don't know if he's starting on the 16th and I don't even know if it's seven days. So really it's kind of a long shot, but, um, it was still very encouraging because, you know, he gave me that dream and it was the wedding banquet and stuff like that. So, but today I was going through all the messages and I was trying to find a pattern and Jesus saved, she was looking at it and she's found some patterns as far as like the rapture and then wormwood and different messages. <clears throat> and so I was looking at it. And it's just so much. So I have my little cliff notes. And I'm going to do a video on it where it's literally just talking. Um, like I'll do December 30th and I'll do a couple lines from each one. You know, and it's long. It's just kind of a brief cliff notes kind of thing. Um, and then I would love for you guys out there to help. Help, you know, the mystery. Because he said if you if you figure out the pattern, you figure out his, his calendar date. So I wonder if that whole, I don't know if it's a real movie or not, guys. It's just what I heard, you know, so I'm, I'm waiting for it just like you are. Um, I don't know. Or what if and another uh, thing could be, what if the movie, it literally comes out the day we're raptured and then the people left behind will know that it was your true date. That's another thought too, so. I don't know, like I said, I'm disobedient, <clears throat> but there's a message today. After he had me doing all, all of that, um, I did a message after that. So, okay, April 18, 2023, I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came to earth in the flesh as a man, and he died on the cross, and he rose on the third day. Okay, uh, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people. Okay, April 18, 2023, 1 Thessalonians 3, 8. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. Micah 7, 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he pleads my case and executes justice for me. He will bring me forth to the light. I will see his righteousness. 2 Timothy 4, 8. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Colossians 1, 4. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. Okay, and here's a message. My child, explosions from the Middle East. China, Russia, North Korea called for the order. I don't know what any of that means, but it's what I heard. Norway will feel the impact of natural disaster. Somalia, Tokyo, fire in the streets. Rain, my child, rain, lots of rain. Run, it's not real rain, it's acid. That's really weird, but. The end has come, I will no longer be there to protect you. Rome, bomb in the city. Chesapeake Bridge, it's coming, it's after the rapture. Heed my warnings, my child. Berlin, it's going to get muddy, very muddy. Sinkholes, fire in the hole in Damascus. Australia, the economy will collapse. Freezing bank accounts, freezing syst freezing bank accounts, system shut down. It will be on a Friday. New system in play on a Monday. Heed my warnings, my child. I am coming. 
Zimbabwe, Kenya will partner. Christian persecutions will start. I guess start together because I think they already have some uh, persecutions there. <clears throat> Locust swarm and an economical collapse. Wake up, children. I don't want this for any of my children. My father sent me to save my children, not condemn them. The price of sin has been paid by me. You are set free. You are no longer cursed under the law. You obey my commandments because you love me. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a new heart of flesh. I will renew your mind. If you walk in spiritual darkness, you aren't walking in the truth and you aren't walking in my spirit. Dumbfounded Congress of Congress, they think the takedown of Cabal will eliminate the evil. The elite hidden behind Satan run this world and I have allowed them to commence my judgment. It's all here and you will see a parade of lights in the skies. Come to me, child, lay your burdens down and I will give you rest. I love you, believe in me and I will save you. You are saved by your faith and my grace. It's a free gift and you can't boast about your salvation. And your works are righteous acts where your rewards will be in heaven. The fruit of the spirit is my key, the key of David, my open door. You walk with me, you believe in me, you have faith and trust in me. Lay your idols down and give me your hearts. I will save you. I love you. You're Adonai, Redeemer, your Lord God, and I have spoken. <clears throat> Genesis 14, 9. Against Chedorlaomer, king of Elam, title king of nations, Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Ariot, king of Elisar. Four kings against five. That means something, but I don't know what it means. Philippians 2.12, therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Jeremiah 7.11, has this house, which is called by my name, become den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I, even I, have seen it, says the Lord. Ezekiel 14.8, I will set my face against that man and make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. <clears throat> Isaiah 63, the Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Revelation 21, 5, then he who sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, write for these words are true and faithful. John 3, 5, Jesus answered, most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. John 4, 7, a woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. Matthew 8, 11, and I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, guys, that was it. <clears throat> so, sorry, I'm just now getting it out, but, you know, he gave it to me after he had me work on all the messages for, like, hours. And I plan on posting a video, but I want to wait until I speak with um, Jesus Saves and Faith Over Fear because I feel like there's a pattern there. And I don't know what the pattern is, but I feel like if we keep dissecting those messages that we're going to find out his true calendar date and then we'll know. I don't know. I'm excited either way because I feel like it's really soon. The last message that he gave me on the 16th when he said seven, my child, seven is coming. That's why I counted the seven days from the 16th. It was just a long shot, but um, I thought it was kind of cool anyway. <laughs> Hey, I'm always half glass, kind of full, kind of girl. So um, if you don't know Jesus, believe in him with all your heart. Ask him to come into your life. Repent from your sins. You know, as a new believer, you're confessing your sins to Jesus. You're admitting in him, believing him, confessing. Um, but when you're under Jesus, you're no longer looking, you're no longer a sinner in his eyes because you're trusting in him to save you. And he renews your mind and you walk in the spirit and you're led by life. Versus walking in um, the flesh, you're led by death and sin. So, okay, guys, have a blessed day.